Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. Design and Development. The Boeing B-29 Super Fortress was designed in 1940 as an eventual replacement for the Boeing B-17 and Consolidated B-24. Named in allusion to its predecessor, the B-17 Flying Fortress, the B-29 was the most capable bomber of World War II. It would carry more payload and fly faster and at higher altitudes than the contemporary B-17, B-24, and British Avro Lancaster. Originally designed for high-altitude daytime strategic bombing, the B-29 also excelled in low-altitude night incendiary missions and in dropping naval mines to blockade Japan. The Enola Gay, arguably the most famous B-29, was the first aircraft to drop a nuclear bomb. The second was another B-29 named Boxcar. Boeing began work on a pressurized long-range bomber in 1938. In December 1939, the Army Air Corps issued a formal specification for a so-called super bomber, capable of delivering 20,000 pounds of bombs to a target 2,667 miles distant at a speed of 400 miles per hour. Bids were submitted by Lockheed, Consolidated Douglas, and Boeing. Boeing submitted its Model 345 on May 11, 1940. Lockheed and Douglas soon abandoned work on their projects, respectively the XB-30 and XB-31. However, on August 24, 1940, Boeing received an order for two flying prototypes, which were given the designation XB-29 and an airframe for static testing. On December 14, the order was revised to add a third flying aircraft. Manufacturing the B-29 was a complex task, it involved four main assembly factories, a pair of Boeing-operated plants at Renton, Washington, and Wichita, Kansas, a Bell plant at Marietta, Georgia, near Atlanta, and a Martin plant at Omaha, Nebraska. Thousands of subcontractors were involved in the project. The YB-29 was an improved version of the XB-29 used for service testing. Fourteen were manufactured at Boeing, Wichita. The engines were upgraded, and the three-blade propellers of the XB-29 were changed to a four-blade type. The YB-29 made its initial flight on June 26, 1943. Continued development and testing led to flyable aircraft ready for production. The B-29 featured the first-ever fully pressurized nose and cockpit in a bomber. An aft area for the crew was also pressurized. Since the bomb bays were not pressurized, a pressurized tunnel was devised to connect the fore and aft crew areas. A retractable tail bumper was provided for tail protection during nose-high takeoffs and landings. In wartime, the B-29 was capable of flight up to 31,850 feet at speeds of 350 miles per hour. Engines and Armament the most common cause of maintenance headaches and catastrophic failures was the engines. Although the Wright R3350 duplex cyclone radial engines later became a trustworthy workhorse in large piston-engined aircraft, early models were beset with dangerous reliability problems. These problems were not fully cured until the aircraft was fitted with the more powerful Pratt & Whitney R4360 Wasp Major in the B-29D B-50 program which arrived too late for World War II. The earliest B-29s were built before testing was finished, so the Army established modification centers where last-minute changes could be made without slowing expanding assembly lines. The B-29 was armed with 10 50 caliber machine guns and one 20 mm cannon. Four of the gun turrets could be operated by remote control from any of five sighting stations. Five General Electric analog computers, one dedicated to each site, increased the weapon's accuracy by compensating for factors such as airspeed, lead, gravity, temperature, and humidity. The computers also allowed a single gunner to simultaneously operate two or more turrets, including the tail guns. The gunner in the upper position acted as fire control officer, managing the distribution of turrets among the other gunners during combat. The tail position initially had two 50 caliber Browning machine guns and a single 
20mm cannon. Later, aircraft had the cannon removed, sometimes replaced by a third machine gun. World War II In December 1943, U.S. Army Air Force's leadership committed the Super Fortress to Asia, where its great range made it particularly suited for the long overwater flights against the Japanese homeland. The first B-29s arrived at Allied airfields in India and China in April 1944. Flying from India, B-29s first saw combat on June 5, 1944, when 98 planes struck Bangkok, Thailand, which then was allied with Japan. This was reported as a test before being deployed against the Japanese home islands. Targets were Bangkok's Memorial Bridge and a major power plant. Bombs fell over two kilometers away and damaged no civilian structures, but destroyed some tram lines and both a Japanese military hospital and the Japanese secret police headquarters. On June 15, 1944, 47 B-29s from bases around Chengdu in eastern China bombed the Imperial Iron and Steel Works at Yawada, Japan. This was the first attack on the Japanese islands since the Doolittle Raid in April 1942. During the last two months of 1944, B-29s began operating against Japan from the islands of Saipan, Guam, and Tinian. As many as a thousand super fortresses at a time bombed Tokyo, destroying large parts of the city. On July 31, 1944, a B-29 named Ramp Tramp was diverted to Vladivostok, Russia after an engine failed. It had been part of a 100 aircraft raid against the Japanese Showa Steel Mill in Anshan, Manchuria. On August 20th, 1944, Cape Palmat, flying from Chengdu, was damaged by anti-aircraft fire during a raid on the Yawada Ironworks. The crew elected to divert to the Soviet Union, where they bailed out, and the aircraft crashed east of Khabarovsk. On November 11th, 1944, during a night raid on Amura, Japan, the General H. H. Arnold Special was damaged and forced to divert to Vladivostok. On November 21st, 1944, Ding Hao was damaged during a raid on an aircraft factory at Amura and was also forced to divert to Vladivostok. The intern crews of those four B-29s were allowed to escape into American-occupied Iran in January 1945, but none of the B-29s returned. Stalin ordered the Tupolev Design Bureau to examine and copy the B-29 to produce a model ready for quantity production as soon as possible. The B-29 was never used in combat in the European theater of World War II. However, one service test YB-29 named Hobo Queen was flown around several British airfields in early 1944 as part of a disinformation program. This was intended to deceive the Germans into believing that the B-29 would be deployed to Europe. Nuclear Bomber Perhaps the best-known B-29s were the 65 examples of the Silver Plate series, which were modified to drop atomic bombs. They differed in having fuel injection and reversible props with blades that could be rotated around their long axis to change the blade pitch. They were also stripped of all guns except for those on the tail in order to have a lighter aircraft. The silver plate aircraft were handpicked by Colonel Paul W. Tibbetts Jr. straight off the assembly line at the Omaha plant that was to become Offutt Air Force Base. On August 6, 1945, Colonel Tibbetts, in command of the Super Fortress Enola Gay, dropped a highly enriched uranium explosion-type atomic bomb called Little Boy on Hiroshima, Japan. Tibbetts had named the plane after his mother, Enola Gay Tibbetts. Three days later, Major Charles W. Sweeney piloted the B-29 boxcar and dropped a highly enriched plutonium implosion-type atomic bomb called Fat Man on Nagasaki, Japan. The Enola Gay flew as the advanced weather reconnaissance aircraft that day. A decision was made to preserve the Enola Gay, and on July 24, 1946, the aircraft was flown to Davis Monthan Air Base, Arizona, in preparation for storage. The following month, the title to the aircraft was transferred to the Smithsonian Institution 
and the B-29 was removed from the Army Air Force's inventory. From 1946 to 1961, the Enola Gay was put into temporary storage at a number of locations across the country. Today, Enola Gay is on display at the Udverhazy Center of the Smithsonian in Chantilly, Virginia. Boxcar is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Post-War and Korea Following the surrender of Japan on September 2, 1945, B-29s were used for other purposes. A number supplied Japanese military prisoners by dropping barrels of rations on POW camps. American post-war military assistance programs loaned the British enough super fortresses to equip several RAF bomber command squadrons. The aircraft was known there as the Washington B-1 and served from March 1950 until the last bombers were returned in early 1954. Two Washington B-1 aircraft were transferred to the Royal Australian Air Force in 1952. They were attached to the Aircraft Research and Development Unit and used in trials conducted on behalf of the British Ministry of Supply. Both were placed in storage in 1956 and sold for scrap in 1957. Boeing built a total of 2,766 B-29s at its plants in Wichita and Renton. The Bell Aircraft Company built 668 of the giant bombers in Georgia, and the Glen L. Martin Company built 536 in Nebraska. Production ended in 1946. The B-29 saw military service again in Korea from 1950 to 1953, battling new adversaries, jet fighters, and electronic weapons. At first, the bomber was used in normal strategic day bombing missions, though North Korea's few strategic targets and industries were quickly destroyed. In Korea, B-29s flew 20,000 sorties, and B-29 gunners were credited with shooting down 27 enemy aircraft. In 1950, Soviet MiG-15 jet fighters appeared over Korea, and after the loss of 28 B-29s, their raids were restricted to night-only missions, largely in a supply interdiction role. Soviet records show that one MiG-15 jet fighter was shot down by a B-29 during the war. This occurred on December 6, 1950, when a B-29 shot down Lieutenant N. Serikov. With the arrival of the Convair B-36 in the Air Force inventory, the B-29 was reclassified as a medium bomber. The last B-29 in squadron use was retired from service in September 1960. Only 22 complete B-29 airframes have been restored in the United States. Another surviving B-29 is on display at the Imperial War Museum, Duxford, UK. Also, a B-29 is on static display at the Kai Aerospace Museum in Sechen, South Korea. If you like these types of videos, subscribe to our channel and get notification when we release new episodes. For more interesting military history content, check out our video library.